Hello everyone, it's Bella and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a gift card for this holiday season or like um, things that I want for Christmas to kind of help you guys out in case you don't know what to get somebody or in case you don't know what you want yourself. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So the first item that I'm going to talk about is something that I personally got for Christmas last year and love it. This is like the best present that I have ever received. I remember like literally a month before Christmas I started begging my parents. I was like this is the only thing I want. Please, please, please. We'll love you forever. And then they got it for me and I flipped my shit and I still use it to this day. It is literally one of the best presents that I have ever gotten and that is the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer in all its glory. I also feel like the case is kind of like a must. Um, it just kind of ties the whole thing together, has this really sleek, sexy presentation, and it's also a place where you can store all of your cords and everything looks neat and tidy, and it's great for travel too. And the hair dryer itself is just amazing. I've been using it ever since I got it for Christmas last year, and I love it. So I will pop a link down below for you guys to check it out and get some more information on that. I also want to thank Dyson for sponsoring this video. When they reached out to me, I was like, what? Me? <laughs> like, I'm so excited. I'm so honored that they wanted to work with me, especially because it is a brand that I love so much and have been using for such a long time. So very, very exciting opportunity for me. And make sure you guys check this out. They actually gave me another one of these, which um, I'm going to give to my friend. Um, it's her 22nd birthday, so I'm going to, her mom's coming over here with my mom. So I'm going to give it to her mom to give to her for her 22nd birthday. And her mom is going to film her reaction for me. And I think she is going to love it. She's going to freak, because who wouldn't love getting one of these presents? Honestly, like I think anyone would freak out. So yeah, I think she's, whoa, that was a loud noise. Yeah, I think she's going to be upset. She's not even gonna know what to say, so. <laughs> and I'm gonna include the video for you guys to see. Hey Morg, Bella sent you over a little present. Yeah. Isabella sent you over a little present for your birthday. She said, I've got to record giving it to you. No way. It's a little present. Why did Will I turn have the music to? Yeah. I know she didn't have to, but she did. Thank you, Bella. Thank that was you, special, Bella. wasn't it? Oh it's a God. special one too. It's not. Yeah, well, it's the Jesus. special range. Isn't that good? Bring you all of that Christmas spirit, Christmas joy, the gift giving season. Am I right? The next gift that I want to mention that I think would be amazing and also a really affordable option is from Lush, the Sleepy Body Cream. Oh my god, it's like my favorite thing ever. I put it on like every night before bed and I will insert little pictures of everything I'm talking about. Even uh, even if you uh, are doing stocking fillers, it would be a really great stocking filler. Lush has so many great gifts. They're little gift boxes. I always get them. I got a Lush gift box for someone. Um, this year and they also have ones without bath bombs which is what I had to get because the person I'm getting it for doesn't have a bath so I think Lush um, like their little gift packs are awesome okay next thing that I want to talk about actually is right here in my hand so this you can get from Mecca and I feel like buying in general for girls is so easy you just get them if you can Am I right? I mean, I have a candle right now. I have a candle obsession. So whenever my friends get me candles and stuff like that, I, I am obsessed. Um, you can't go wrong with candles. These little packs are so cute. This one is... I don't know how to say it, so I'm just going to like hold it up here. Um, but if you don't know what kind of scents they're into, I definitely think this is really cool because... 
I mean, there's five scents here. They have to be into at least one of them. Um, otherwise, if you do know what kind of scent they are into, a really, really um, good gift would be one of those giant candles that Glass House does. They are so cool. I got one for Michael for his birthday and he burns it all the time. They have so much in there that they literally last ever. Like this lasts me so long. I can't even imagine how much those giant ones last. Another thing that I think would be a really cool gift, this is a little different than the ones that I've already talked about, is giving them an experience. So I, my whole life, the one thing on my bucket list, or like the top thing on my bucket list besides going to Antarctica, is going skydiving. So if you know anyone who is like me that always talks about wanting to go to skydiving, I have always wanted to go but I just don't have anyone that wants to come with me. I would die if someone got me like a skydiving voucher, like a skydiving ticket. That would be like a dream come true. Experiences like that are like a once in a lifetime thing and I think having experiences in life can be so much cooler than materialistic things. I personally would be so incredibly happy if someone was like, I know she really wants to go skydiving, so I'm gonna get her a skydiving voucher. On top of that, there are so many other cool experiences, like if people wanna go, maybe um, for your partner, you have no idea what to get them, you could get them like a hot air balloon ride, it would be really sweet and romantic, and that could be a really cool gift. Um, Experiences. Experiences are really cool. And speaking of experiences, something that you can take photos of them with, um, which Carrie and I both agree is a really cool gift. We already have one of these and we use it all the time. We take photos of everything, like our first house, moving, first car, first car that I bought, all of that kind of stuff on a Polaroid camera. I think if you know someone that loves photos, loves photography, loves documenting things, loves having memories, a Polaroid camera is the way to go. They're instant, they make great scrapbooks, um, they're really like transportable and so much fun. Carrie and I are obsessed with the Polaroid camera that I have. We literally go through the little like Polaroid um, photo packets like that. And when I told him I was making this video, I was like, hey, give me some ideas. And I was like, hey, what about a Polaroid? And he was like, yes. Yes, put that in there, that's such a cool gift. Oh, wait, I have this one in front of me, where is it? Okay, next thing that I wanna talk about is this. <laughs> if your friend loves makeup, or if you love makeup, you have no idea what you want, you have no idea what to get something, get someone, this. This is the Mecca Cosmetica Enlighten Powder. I'm sure if you guys are not new to my channel, then you know about this because I use it in every single video ever because I am obsessed with it. They brought it out in this new beautiful packaging. Who doesn't love highlighter? But yeah, oh my goodness. And you could even put it in like one of the little Mecca cells like um, makeup bags. You could put it like in one of them. That would be so cute. And this is seriously guys, best highlighter you will ever try. I'm obsessed with T2. So something I would love, um, which isn't too, too pricey is like a little T2 gift box so they have gift boxes with like six different teas or with like a tea maker jug and then like a few little teas in there oh I would love that I would love trying out all of the different teas they're so fun tea too is so yummy and also another good present from tea too as well that would be really cool um I've gotten this for my friend one time and she loved it was um they have like little the cutest little like tea um cups there tea cup sets the one i've i've bought some for myself i've bought some for my friend um because my friend loves green i got her this green themed one and it was like a little housewoman gift for myself i bought this one with like monkeys on it and speaking of a personalized coffee mug could be really cool so if you do know someone like for instance carrie loves coffee he drinks coffee all the time if you got a personalized mug for someone so whether it had their name on it a picture that they really like i have one with a border collie on it. I once got Carrie one with a funny word. We got um, my dad one that said fuck on it because my dad always says fuck. I feel like I've gotten one of them for everyone. Like <laughs> coffee mugs are great and I feel like everyone is going to need a coffee mug at some time in their life. If you don't drink coffee, tea, uh, hot chocolate and it could be personal in ways other than just getting their name on it or getting something 
like a word on it. You could get, for instance, if someone likes games, you can get one that is like shaped like um, a Nintendo. They have those. I was going to get Kerry one because he loves photography and taking photos. So they have one that is shaped like a camera lens. They have so many. Another thing that I think would be a great gift. So I want headphones um, for Christmas this year. That's something that is on my Christmas list. Noise cancelling headphones are a great gift for everyone. There's always times when you're going to want headphones, whether you're on a train, on the bus, um, walking your dog, traveling on a plane, it's so noisy, noise cancelling headphones, what could be better than noise cancelling headphones on an airplane? I tell you what, nothing. In that kind of realm, another thing that I have on my little list, which I think would be a great present, is like a wireless portable speaker. I have a Yui Boom, so I feel like that could be a really, really cool present, is like a little Yui Boom. Um, they're great for parties, great for just filling your house up with music. It's always good to listen to music while you're showering, cooking, cleaning. So they're great, Yui Booms. They're a little bit more affordable than Bose. Bose has some as well. There's one called JB something. I'm not sure. There's heaps of brand that do those little speakers. They're really cool. A Yui Boom is another thing that I've actually gotten as a present myself. I really, really wanted it for Christmas, not last Christmas, but the Christmas before. So I've had one for ages and it has come in handy so many times. I even take it traveling with me. Ooh, so I have like a little list here of things that I think would be cool. And one that I have on here is a robe with initials on it. That's something I would love, like a really soft robe with my initials on it. I love robes, I wear them all the time. Another thing that I have down here is a Louis Vuitton bracelet. So I know it seems expensive, but there are these bracelets on Louis Vuitton. I deleted the tab, but I will like put a photo of it up below, I'm, I mean up here. And the price, I think it's like $200, it's a canvas bracelet with um, metal. And it has like the classic Louis Vuitton bracelet. That's something I really want and I've been asking for for this Christmas because I want one so bad. I think they are so cute. They will match with so much. I feel like the Louis Vuitton canvas matches with everything. I feel like that's a really good price for like Louis Vuitton and especially if you have a friend that is into that kind of stuff. The Louis Vuitton box is almost worth it. <laughs> the orange Louis Vuitton box and bag and I feel like Getting Louis Vuitton, it just feels, it would just feel so good getting something like that. Like getting a designer item, you see the bag and you're like, oh my god, I can't believe it, you shouldn't have. And then you open it and the great thing about the bracelet as well is it's just going to go with so much. Like you can just wear it all the time. So I have two more things that I, three more things that I think would be really great. And then I want to talk about something quite serious. So the first thing is... A selfie light so if you have a friend that's really into Instagram or loves taking selfies I have one but I don't know where I've, I've put it but it basically clips onto your phone and it's like a light and then you can take selfies in the dark it's like having my setup here but just on your phone it's so cool and perfect for any girl that loves taking photos selfies is really into Instagram and another thing that I thought would be really cool is my friend is super into succulent, succulents. She loves succulents. And I feel like so many people ask that would be a really cool gift to get like a really cute little vase and then maybe a succulent inside. Or I found on ASOS, I think it was, these little wall hanging or like these things you hang on the wall and then you put your vase inside them so you can have like wall succulents, which would be such a cool wall piece. And the last thing that I wanted to mention, I've done this for Carrie personally, and you can personalize this in so many ways depending on what they're into. So I got Carrie a little Tommy Hilfiger duffel bag, and then I filled it up with all of these things he wants and needs, like clothes, um, you know, jumpers, t-shirts, pants, socks, um, cologne, all of that kind of stuff. I filled it with all of that. Um, but you could personalize it, you could make it a camera bag and fill it with, you know, a camera strap or a lens or something really cool like that. Or you could do like a gym bag and stuff it with socks, maybe some shoes or um, a water bottle, protein shaker. And that is all of my gift ideas, but now I did want to talk about something a little bit more serious. Um, and that is giving animals for Christmas. So... 
I really wanted to talk about this because I feel like at this time of year a lot of people um, buy puppies, whether it's adopting from breeders, from pet shops and give them as gifts. January, right after Christmas, is probably the busiest time for shelters receiving dogs because people just willy-nilly are like, oh, I bet she'll love a puppy and give puppies to people and give dogs to people that these people can't look after. And so January is extremely, extremely busy for shelters because they're receiving all of these dogs that people have received as gifts and now they're returning into shelters and you know some people are too embarrassed to go to shelters so they just abandon the dogs or even worse like throw them away like they're garbage. If you are considering getting someone an animal or a pet whether it be a cat, dog, a mouse, a bird, any type of animal for Christmas, please just really think it through. Think, is this person going to look after it? Is this person going to be able to be responsible for this living thing's life for as long as it's going to live? You know, if you get a puppy that's like a 15 to 20 year commitment, you have to think, is this person financially stable enough to keep this for that long? Does this person have a job? Is this person going to be traveling? Um, does this person want this responsibility? Yeah, puppies are cute, but you know, after that cuteness wears off, you have to look after it, you have to toilet train it, you have to clean up its poop, um, you have to walk it every day, um, socialize it, get its sh shots, everything. Like, it's a massive responsibility um, that you could just be putting on someone that you don't even know if they are willing or able to um, give this animal the love, attention, and care that it needs. And if you are going to get someone a dog for Christmas, I highly, highly recommend adopting pet shops. I mean, everyone knows pet shops are bad. If you didn't, Google puppy mills. It's horrible, horrible what the um, adult dogs have to go through in order to have these dogs in in pet stores, like if you're gonna get a puppy, there are heaps at the RSPCA, AWL, heaps of different um, adoption organizations. If you really are not going to adopt, I definitely suggest at least going to a breeder and looking into it and making sure this is a good breeder, a legal breeder, um, that they're not running in any backyard operations that are a bit sketchy. Um, just definitely don't go to pup pet shops, puppy shops, they suck and so so many things could be wrong with that puppy that you have no idea about because they are a puppy. It is a responsibility for a very very long time. It's costly, you have to pay for their food for the rest of their lives, um, cut their nails, get them groomed, it's a lot. So just consider if the person you're giving it to understands um, the responsibilities. Oh, I've just been mumbling and repeating myself for this last section, but I just can't stress it enough. Please just consider what you were doing if you were going to get a living animal for someone for Christmas. I'm going to stop going on now. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope this helped you and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!